All aboard your tech news, games, and deals caboose. We have some top gaming laptops to go over. We have a couple other little tech topics, and we have some WoW Stan Lee tributes for gaming news. Let's start off with the Alienware, the Area 51M. This is a pretty crazy laptop. It's got a RGB LCD, or uh, trackpad right there. And we have some other video footage of this. We get at 206, we get to see what's going on with the actual laptop. He, this guy right here actually opens up the laptop. And then there's a rib cage right here that they take out. It's all labeled with screws and everything. And then once the rib cage comes out, we get to see what's underneath. And that is a CPU and a GPU. And then these heat pipes actually come out as well. So it turns upgradable as a laptop. And that's at 7, 708. We get to see the actual heat sink come up and out. So it's all one piece with the two fans. And this is a regular desktop CPU. This is the i9-9900K. And this is an RTX 2080. And they will both be upgradable. The CPU just can buy a new CPU. And the GPU, uh, we're not sure on pricing or how many more they're going to release with upgradable parts from Alienware but pretty good for upgrading stuff. And we get to see the GPU, the actual GPU pulled out from the Verge. And that's what the RTX mobile GPU looks like. And you can upgrade that. <laughs> so what we have here is the, again, the Area 51M. Let's get rid of that chat. It starts at 2550 for the 8700 CPU. And then that goes all the way up to the 9900K for 4,000, a little expensive. And then there is a placeholder 1080, but it's not shipping until January 29th, I believe was what was said. And then you'll get the latest RTX, so the 2080 most likely. I'm not sure about the 2080 Ti. They said that in the video, but I wasn't quite sure. And then shipping actually February 19th when you would get it. So cool little upgradable laptop pretty insane with desktop parts that's 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 pretty insane and 144 hertz g-sync toby eye tracking display just throwing that in there too the second laptop we have is the alienware uh 240 hertz display this is the m15 i believe and this is arriving in march so we'll see what can actually drive 240 frames in a 240 hertz monitor but that's pretty intense for a laptop. There's also gonna be a 4K OLED display, so your choice. And then it's coming with an i9 CPU, so top of the line specs there. 32 gigs of RAM and 2080 Max-Q GPU, so another RTX laptop. RTX laptops will be a theme <laughs> coming up. The third laptop is the Omen 15. This is also getting a 240 hertz display. This is coming a little later in July 19th they're saying and this is an i7 8750H with a looks like a 1070 Max-Q GPU and again July for this one and uh, the price will start at 1370 with the new GPUs most likely a 2060 there they didn't quite say what GPUs besides the 27 was mentioned I believe so that's from HP Omen 240 Hertz as well there's two of those now floating about and then the third laptop is the we have which one was this HP no Samsung notebook Odyssey I knew that by looking at it it was pretty good this one has it's also getting upgraded to the RTX 2080 GPU with the hexacore i7 processor 144 Hertz display this one's 15 inches so Samsung's also jumping into RTX and what was the release date on this early 2019 it was mentioned and this is also a g-sync 144 hertz display and then we have another laptop from origin and this is the eon 16s and the 17s is the one we actually want to talk about this has desktop parts again like the first one it has an i9 9900k and an rtx 2080 de both desktop glass class and didn't mention if these were upgradable probably not if they didn't mention it so and we're not sure uh, pricing and availability is unknown as well but top of the line desktop computer in a laptop form factor pretty insane pretty pretty good so you might be wondering why i haven't mentioned the asus motherboard 
uh, mother mothership or the acer predator triton because i've already done videos on that and i didn't want to rehash it too much you can just click the link in the description i'll try to put an i card up as well and then here is also the razor blade also is getting rtx support another crazy laptop and then there's also the razor monitor so also video on that and if you want to check out uh, most of the laptops announced at ces there's a long list uh, a spreadsheet is here i made this and you can check out computer parts laptops phones there's actually three spreadsheets if you want to go check out a bunch of gadgets car stuff and just a ton of stuff and we have some other tech news to go over really quick we get a show weird city and this is from jordan peele and charlie sanders and it's a comedy futuristic show we don't really talk about shows too much but if there's future involved in science and a bunch of gadgets and him he's funny <laughs> i want to eat that afterwards but this is looks pretty good coming release date one at nine so this is tomorrow it is already out release date oh so yeah go check that show out yeah we also have the samsung galaxy unpacked 2019 event it looks like they're teasing the samsung 10 this is february 20th 20th so we have one month to wait for that and phone screens look to me I don't know if that's a fold or what they're trying to say. Two phones are coming out or something crazy is going to go on, but there's definitely a break there. So we'll see what comes on February 20th. And one more little tech news. We have the official AMD Radeon 7 25 benchmarks. So this is benchmarked on an i7 7700K, interesting, and 16 gigs of RAM and max settings 4K. And here you can't probably can't see those. So we have a blow up shot. This is Battlefield 1 DX12. This one, it looks like over 20 FPS increase. This is versing the Vega 64 versus Radeon 7 new GPU. Uh, Doom looks like it's getting 20 FPS bump. Fallout 76, massive bump there. And what's some other good bumps? Sid Meier Civilization gets another around 20 FPS looking. And Wolfenstein 2 also gets a pretty big bump. And then the other titles are, the, are there to check out whatever game you're playing. You'll get a pretty good boost. And then we actually have some game game news. We get Stan Lee tributed in World of Warcraft. So we get to see a character named Stan Lee. <laughs> pretty nice one word name. And he walks around the fort, the Stormwind Keep. And he says, Excelsior to people. And he waves and he makes some other jokes. He'll deliver mail and walk dogs. I'm just kidding about those last two, but he walks around. Go check him out. This is on the PTR, I believe. The latest patch 8.1.5 PTR. So go follow him around and enjoy your movie watching pleasure in World of Warcraft. We also have some Final Fantasy 10, 10 2, and 12 will arrive on Switch in April. So April 16th and April 12th for the Zodiac Age. We get a little picture here. Cool, cool drawings. And then we also get to see possibly um, eight, seven and nine on the latest console in 2019, Nintendo again. And then possibly Xbox One arriving later, nobody knows. And we also have some Battle Royale news from Red Dead Online. This is still in beta right now. This is called Gun Rush, and it's a 32-player battle royale, and the world shrinks. So the game will be in beta for a few more months. They also mentioned in this little press release thing. And we also see we're going to get new races, new showdown modes. This is more updates coming. The Gun Rush is already in. Uh, we're going to see daily change challenges, law and bounty upgrades, bounties for committing crimes. Will be in, will be, will, there will be more bounties. So parlay changes and the proximity will be reducing for player blips for recognizing people committing crimes and stuff. And there's more to come, obviously. I'll get a little shot of the actual gun rush mode. And if you also wondered what a horse running into another horse would look like that. And it was pretty brutal. And then she kills this guy and strangles him to death. We're not gonna show too much of that. And we also have Hadian Boast's biggest battle royale clash of all time. So this is their Aether engine, their their boasting, their cloud tech. And it's going to be thousands of players being able to play on this engine. 
and they're going to try to break a record with a PVP. This is like a test thing, a tech demo thing that they're trying to do that you can sign up for and actually participate in to try to break a world record. But basically, here's a little video of showing 10,000 ships, so thousands of people playing, and there's all the actual fighter, 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 fighter. I'm not going to count all those, but it's probably close to 10,000, I'd have to say. And so this is just, again, a tech kind of experience for gaming, and there's some explosions and some battleships. So sign up for that if you want to be a part of a world record for Battle Royales. So... Pretty good stuff there. We have a couple comments saying laptop surgery, upgrading CPUs and GPUs, pretty crazy. Wow, your show started all by itself today. Interesting. I didn't do that. It was you. Price is too high for the new Vega. $700 competing with the RTX 2080, which is also around $700. And it doesn't have RTX cores, tensor cores. So you're not going to be able to do ray tracing. So if you're looking for a ray tracing game, you'll want to go RTX. Radeon 7 is more for any Vulcan games, Doom, uh, they had the one example in the actual keynote, and the 16 gigabytes of HBM2 could be good. Uh, in yesterday's video, AMD video, I actually mentioned that the new Division 2 specs, they actually recommended 11 gigabytes of VRAM. So maybe there is some actual use for the 16 gigabytes aside from just creators. So we'll see what happens with actual comparisons. And we have AMD should have halved the HBM and dropped the price. Yeah, HBM seems a little bit more creatory or they're doing something else. So we'll have to see. But we will have another episode tomorrow at 3 p.m. Pacific with probably some more CES that's still going on. There's a lot more to talk about. So check back tomorrow and we'll be signing off. Pew, 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 pew.